What's up, you guys, and welcome to the next episode of Twilight Princess on RC Online. In the last episode, we finally made our way inside the Gorons' hideout, but we were met by Gor Koron, which is the leader of the Gorons, or I assume so. And he told us that he would let us pass where we wanted to go if we beat him in a sumo match. After we did that, he realized that we were, you know, ready for stuff. We were ready for action. So he sent us on a task to go find one of his fellow Goron buddies. And yeah, that's what I'm doing in here. Now, I think this is the second dungeon, because um, when I saved it last and I started this time, uh, I realized that it sent me all the way back to the beginning of this place. So if this is the second dungeon, uh, if I don't find it in this episode, can one of you guys tell me where the one of the um, the Okuko is? You remember that thing? It's the... Um, it was the warping, oh shit, it was the warping device that you could use in dungeons to, um, to help you save a checkpoint in a dungeon so you could save your progress and also save where you are in the dungeon. It's called the Okuku, I think. Yeah, if you guys know where that is in here, if I don't find it in this episode, can you please tell me? Because um, those things are very helpful for playthroughs on this channel. I mean, f after finding out for the first time, I was very relieved because these dungeons are probably going to get pretty big later on. So, the location of the Okukus and telling me where they are is much appreciated. Okay, so these are some new enemies right here. They, they look like variations of the Lizalfos, but they walk on all fours. And if that's what they're going to look like throughout this game, then I'm kind of underwhelmed. They're a lot easier than the other Lizalfos. Um, I remember the Lizalfos from Skyward Sword. They had their gimmick to fit with the game. So I think with this game, it's not as combat-centric, so they don't have to be that unique, I guess. So there we go. I pulled something away. I pulled... Oh, shit! I lost my footing. Okay, but I get it now. There was a thing that was blocking our path, so we pulled it out of the way. And now we're all the way back here. Um, But yeah, I know what to do here. Trust me, I got this. I'm figuring it out. I just didn't see my footing there. Also, I need to get more hearts. So I'm going to start looking for heart pieces uh, in these dungeons. It's not very clear, but that's why I gotta be explorative and look around the place. Because there's a lot of rooms in dungeons, and it gives me, gives me a lot to do. Which means I should look around, because if I look at my pause menu, I only need two more pieces and I get another heart. Which would be very helpful. I mean, yeah, sure, you get heart containers when doing boss fights, but I'm sure there won't be enough boss fights for us to have a huge amount of hearts. I mean, even in s fucking shit! I can't believe I missed that by an inch! But even in Skyward Sword, I had a lot of hearts by the end of the game, and I didn't even collect that many pieces. It's just the fact that going through the game itself gives you a lot of hearts in general. Here we go. Okay, I forgot that motion controls aren't as prominent in this game. I keep flicking the Wii Remote to throw rocks and shit. Throw! Nope, that didn't work. Well, I need to get more hearts, but good thing for us that the crates regenerate every time we die. But so do the enemies. That's the downside. So give me a heart. Okay, I'm going to make sure I'm careful this time. The auto jump is not that good, but it's all you have to get across platforms like this. So you're going to have to rely on the auto jump a lot and be a lot more careful. You know, steady yourself. Look directly at your platform and then move to it. There's no jump button. You just got to run. Trust your instincts. Okay, here I go again. Ugh. All right, made it that time. And the enemies didn't respawn. Okay. Well, I guess that's one thing that doesn't happen. So let's pull this one this time, and actually look where we're going to jump. If I can pull it, there we go. So, as you, um, just so you guys know, yep, I am done with my play that I've been working on for so long. Yeah, it was a success. It was a lot of fun to work on, and a lot of fun to um, perform for those three nights that I did it. But yep, that means that I'm going to do my best to get back to recording as often as I can. Starting with this. And since Alien Isolation is done, the next playthrough should start very soon. I don't know when exactly I'm going to start it, but... Oh, shit. Okay, so it's going back there. I don't know exactly when I'm going to start it, but, um, eventually. What's up, Midna? Ah, oh, great. Looks like our path is blocked again. Can you be a little more timely? Figure out the timing for when those flame pillars react. retract. That's when you make your move. Aha! Genius! Okay, so we're going to move from this thing once we... Okay, we're going to move my camera. Uh, well, I can't. So I'm going to look at the lava geysers, or at least listen to them. Can I move? Yeah, I can. All right, let's go now. Yeah! There we go. I was a lot more timely, Minda! What the fuck? Dude! Oh, I could have made it that time! God damn it. I hate... 
the auto jump kind of sucks. <laughs> I'm going to be honest there. I know it's a Zelda thing to not have a jump button so you have more buttons to map out your other shit, but seriously, a jump button would be great. Uh, it, it just may be that I'm not used to this whole auto jump shit. This is probably child's play for Zelda veterans, but the only Zelda game I have under my belt is Skyward Sword, and that game was heavily based on motion controls. I'm sorry, just... I don't want to complain about it too much, but seriously, I should have made that jump. I don't know why he didn't grab that edge. I tried to, but it didn't work. So let's be timely with our jumps yet again. Heating Midna's advice. Okay, I'm gonna get all the hearts. All the hearts in the world. Because I only have four. It's not good. <laughs> but I have been careful. I mean, I've only died a select few times. No, yeah, I've only died a couple times. And they weren't even on boss fights. So I think I can hold my own pretty well in this game. Let's see. Lava Geyser. There you go. Perfect timing. Now let's be rectified. Rectify! Oh, dude, we totally made that one. Made it our bitch. Now we're in the next room. So what's here now? Water? Thought it was a freaking lava temple. Well, we are just looking for that Goron, so once we find him, we can leave. We don't have to stay here for too long. Unless something else happens in here. Wait a minute. I think I know how to do this. I'm gonna try something, but first I gotta figure out how to get up there. Is it underwater time? Oh! Iron boots! I can use these to walk underwater. There we go. And then I can stand on this. Oh! Whoa, anti-gravity! Whoa! What is this, Mario Galaxy? Holy shit! I wasn't expecting this in a Zelda game. Yeah! I made it to the door. That was not what I was expecting this room to be, but... Hey, I figured it out on my first try. Now, where's that Oh Cuckoo? Wait, is that the... That's gotta be the Goron he was looking for. Ah, I thought I felt a presence. But what a surprise to find the young human. What has come to me of you? If Gor Koran has faith in you, then your heart must be true. I am one of the four Goron elders. Gor Amolto is my name. You are heroic, young human. Please, you must lend this tribe your power. You got a key shard. You need all three shards to return the big key to its original shape. That is one of the key shards that, when merged together, form the key to the room where Darvis is being held. He is our patriarch. The key is split into three pieces. Each of us elders keeps a piece. You must hurry it to the other elders. So, there are multiple elders, and Darvis is the guy we're looking for. That's his name. I couldn't remember it. I, I knew it started with a D, but it was like a mixture of Marcus and a D word. But I got Darvis, and I got a map. This map will be very helpful. Here we go. New area. So our new goal is to piece up that key. And then wherever that door is, we use it there. What's this? Okay, I don't know what that is, but it looks important. This is a nice room you got here, Elder. But I'm going to continue on ahead. I know you want me to save Darvis, and that's exactly what I'm going to do. As soon as I climb this ladder very slowly. There we go. Okay, and uh, I should look around in this room if there's an Okuku somewhere. <gasps> there it is! It... There we go! Okay, they're not as hard to find as I thought they were. Just always look in pots. Phew, free at last. Gracious, you're that nice fellow who helped me out the other day. How nice to see you again. Well, now that we've found each other again, let's stick together for a bit, hmm? I'll be right with you. So, if you want to warp out, just let me know. You reunited with Oh Cuckoo. This kind character can let you out of dungeons and return you to where you want to go. Set her to B on the minus screen and call her with B. If you set her to the D-pad, you can use her without having to swap B. That is a good idea. You know, I haven't had to use my slingshot yet, so let's assign the Oh Cuckoo to the left. I am managing my stuff like a pro. Oh wait, swing my sword. Why can't I swing my sword? Oh, I think it's because I'm in the Elder Room. All right, I'll leave. Now we're in new parts of the dungeon. And it's all crystallized and stuff. And enemies. Oh, um. Oh, wait a minute. My boots were tracked onto here. Oh, I love it. And I can still use my sword with my iron boots. Wow, this is very unique. I was not expecting this, really. But this is awesome. I can walk on walls now. Why does this happen? Are these walls magnetized or something with the iron boots? I mean, I'm not going to question it. It's a cool idea. Seriously, is that very Zelda? Are there other games in the Zelda universe that have done that? Because that's very cool. Okay. 
Well, here's the new door. I like it. So the dungeon's gimmick is the iron boots, because it's the thing we got before we entered the dungeon. Which I'm totally fine with, but I do hope we get a new item while we're in here. That would be cool. While in this dungeon, not in this room, specifically. And that pushed up- Whoa! Still gotta get used to that. It's like Mario Galaxy, it really is. Except I walk very slow. See, I may be able to walk wherever I want to, but it is slow. There you go. Can the camera switch? Ooh, that looks important. Um, I don't know if I should drop right here. I don't trust it. Where should I go? This does look like a point of interest. Is there any way I can turn my camera? You know what? Then I'm just going to trust it. I'm going to drop right here. If it's in lava, oh well. Wait a minute. I can look at my map. But screw it! Uh, no! Okay, right into lava. But there were platforms right there. Wait, where did, it, where did it send us? Okay, good. We're back up here. Now, before we go upside down and boom, after we get these hearts, I am going to look on the ground and see where I need to go before I switch. So, this is a room we've been to before. And it looks like we want to get to that door. Wait, no. I think we've been there before. Oh, shit! Ah, okay, i got to be careful. Don't contemplate plans while standing near the edge of lava. You will get burned. Badly. But it looks like this is a, where it wants us to go. And that door with the platform up there? I think that's the point of interest. So let's find a way up there. Whee! If we can. This place is kind of confusing. But, no fret. I think I can make my way there. As long as I keep trying. Maybe we can drop our way over here. Yeah! This looks like it'll work. Look at the map. There's a little green path we can land on. Unless that's looking at the roof path, then I'm kind of screwed. Swing my... Oh, that didn't work. There you go. Got to lock on. There. See? Oh, no, my shield. Uh-oh. Well, now I don't have a way to block anything. But that's fine. We could buy a new one. I have plenty of rupees. And there's a chest. That might be important. Uh, let's jump! Alright, what's in here? Something helpful, please! Ah! A heart piece! That is very helpful! I was just talking about that in this episode. Alright, well, time to go. Wait, maybe... Hold on. I don't know about this. Uh, should I drop? Oh, no, I don't want to go down there. I've been there before. There's an enemy right there. Okay, let's go back up here. But a heart piece, that's good that we found that, but... Man, is there anything else we can do in this room over here? I mean, I know we're looking for the elders, but... Maybe I look for a new path. Now that I have a map, it should, shouldn't be that hard. Well, wait, where am I looking? This way, okay. I wish there was an easier way to turn your camera. I mean, I'm fine with the snap camera, but sometimes it can get kind of, I don't know, all over the place. Man, I look so naked without my shield. Okay, my next goal is to try and get to that door. There's somewhere over here. Hold on, let me get back onto normal gravity. There we go. Somehow. Whoa, shit! Ah, oh, it! No, don't tell me I have to go all the way back. Okay, I'm going to kill myself, see if I can go back up there. Maybe there's something I do need to do in here. I don't know. I want to keep looking around. All right, good. I'm back up here. All right. Here we go. Hearts. Another heart, please. Ah, uh, nope. Never mind. Well, you know, now that we have this thing, maybe it shouldn't be that hard to get up there. So I'm going to get out of this room since I've... It looks like I've explored everything here. The problem is, how the hell do I get back down? Baby steps. Don't want to exhaust myself. Maybe there's a way we could go just from standing over here. Sorry if it doesn't look like I'm really doing much in this episode, but I gotta be observant and everything. Uh, jump! Oh shit, that was close. Um, put that away. And let's just go back. Go back to the door where we came from in this room. There's gotta be something we can do. So if I go back and use the new abilities that I have, then maybe we'll find our way. Just 
maybe. Wait, Midna? Hey, how exactly do you plan to fight the monsters in here without a shield? You're perishing in a place like this isn't going to do me any favors, so why don't you equip yourself properly before you regret it? Well, it doesn't look like I have an extra shield now, do I? So, no. I can take him on without a shield. It's just not going to be as secure. There's a lot in this room. So maybe there's some... Aha! Yes! I knew it. So I do have to go back and use this new ability that I found. Even though it was already on the iron boots. It's not like I got a new item. It's just that I found something new to do with the iron boots. It's a nifty feature, but... Nah. Kind of doesn't really make any sense. Here I go! Oh, wait. It's not activated. So maybe... I can find something to activate it. What's up, Midna? Oh, she's just gonna keep jabbering on about the shield, I guess. Okay, um... So there's gotta be something I can do in this room. Wait, what's it locking on to? Yeah, but if you looked up there, you could see that there was the blue platform that would usually... Here, watch. Right up there. See? It's the thing I can... Right there. But... For some reason... Wait. Can I... There we go. Uh, throw it! I want to do something here. This room looks so important. No, wait. Stop throwing it. Okay. I wonder where... <sighs> something... Something we gotta do in here. I don't really know. I'm kind of lost right now. But I do have a cool new ability, which is fine. Oh, shit! That was very close. Oh, that was even closer. And, uh, it was not close enough. Grabbing ledges in this game and getting back up is so damn imprecise. It might just be the Wii Remote controls, but still, it just feels really awkward. Okay, let's look around here for a minute. So, if we could go back and find a way to get up to that door up there, then that could get us to where we need to go. But that door up there is the upside down place. So, there's gotta be, gotta be something. It's right up there. I don't know how to do it though. Hmm. Well, maybe we just ignore it for now. Right now I need to focus on getting some hearts. Maybe there's a room that we missed? Can I look at the whole dungeon map? Ah, oh, I wish I could. Wait, couldn't I already see everything without the map? Then what was the point of that map? Hey. Okay, I gotta go back and find something that I didn't look at, because I did go through it pretty fast. I was busy enjoying my anti-gravity moves with my iron boots. So now, maybe something will come up? I don't know. I just gotta retrace my footsteps. And I don't have that much time left in this episode, so let's hope I do this on the first try. Here I go. There. Alright, Geyser, go away. There. Yes, perfect. Uh. There. I did it. Go, go, go. Oh, that was close. There really have to be spikes on that thing. It's already perilous enough. Okay, now we're back here. And this is only one room, so let's go back down here. And use our iron boots to go upside down. And then there's a ledge right there. But this room's pretty small. It doesn't seem like there's much in here anyway. So, there we go. I'm all good. Next room is the Elder. But there's something I could do up here. Maybe. What's this? Oh, it's a giant ass chain. Okay. Well, I think we've, the only thing we haven't done in here is break all the pots. But I doubt there'd be anything that I need in those pots. I already got the Okuku. So, baby steps. Let's, um, let's be more careful and look around everywhere when we're back up here. Because this is obviously where we needed to go. We needed to find that elder to get the key piece. And then find out that that is our goal now. Is to get all the key pieces. So, yeah. That's what I'm going to do now. But where we find these elders is the trickiest part of this all. Um, going to walk back up here. And now that I don't have to worry about a shield getting burned, I guess it's going to be a lot easier to take on these fire guys. But I will get a shield again later on. Hopefully like a steel one so I don't have to worry about burning. Then I would have to worry about electricity, though, right? All right, switch. Oh, that was close. All right, note to self. Don't do that while it's on its side. Then you'll slide. Okay, now we're back here. 
there is something we gotta do here. And that door is straight ahead. We have to land somewhere. There you go. There's torches. I don't know. This is really confusing, man. Well, if it's very complicated, maybe you could tell me? I don't know. Because I've looked in all these rooms, it doesn't seem like... Well, this seems important right here. Why would this anti-gravity thing be here if it wasn't the way that I needed to go? I mean, yeah, sure, you could use it to get the heart piece, but I don't think that's the only reason this is here. Maybe there's more to this. Have I been here? Yeah, what's with all these damn rocks? Maybe, the, maybe it's like a maze, and there's a place I can land up there. Because this doesn't look familiar at all. Yeah, dude, the green part on the map is showing the place I'm walking on. So I could follow that like a maze. It's less complicated than I thought, because look, it's leading me right to the door. Now I know exactly what I need to do. But before I reach the uh, 25 li minute mark, I'm going to hit it right before. I'm going to do a lot before I go overtime. I'm not going to go overtime in this episode. All right. Free fall! Man, those iron boots sure are loud. Don't sound that loud for you guys, but it is for me. All right, now we're back up here. Lock me onto the point of interest, game. There's the point of interest. But we gotta kill those moblins first. No problem. See, we got all hearts ready. Yes, we do. All right, time to take them down without a shield. I'm not so scared of them, though. Yeah, oh shit. There you go. Oh. Okay, these guys are kind of scary. All right, let's get these the rest of these mofos. Yeah. Oh, I keep missing that. Yeah, good job. Oh, boom. Yeah, finishing blow. Finish him. Got him. All right, now I can do the thing. And it'll activate the blue one, right? Yes. Now I know exactly what I gotta do. I think. Oh, it's timing. Is it? Yep, it's definitely timing. Oh, no, put that away. No, put that away. Dang it, I'm not used to this. Put it away. Okay, let's stand right here. All right, time it just right. Fall. There we go. This is a new place. And then there's another thing we could stand on. See, I told you I knew exactly what I had to do as soon as I got to this room. Because it was all pretty clear. I've, I've seen this room plenty of times. Damn. And then this thing will call us, right? Whoa! It sure did. Now let's go right here. Yes! Make it so much progress. What a damn shift. And we're almost done with this episode. Let's see, we got, oh yeah, we got very little time left, so. Blue rupee! I already know what that is. Don't tell me. It doesn't tell us what the one rupees are, and I'm thankful for that, but it still tells us the five. Maybe fives are rarer than I think. Okay. Well, before we go into this room, I think this would be a good time to save it right now. So, let's use my, oh, cuckoo, to save our progress. Oh, goodness. You say you want to go outside? Uh, warp out. Well, then I'll be waiting right here. Off with you! <laughs> so quirky. But yeah, we definitely made a lot of progress in that dungeon. We should find Darvis in no time if we continue the pace that we had in the last few minutes of this episode. Alright, well, I hope you had a good time on ride time. I will see you all next time!